Hello again, Magma WK. Back in the Tower of Bell Bell. Again? Yes, again. Anyway, in our last adventure, we found Edge, the ninja. Yes, the ninja prince of Ebalon, who tried to hit Rubicon, the fiend of the fire, and the elemental, with fire. That was stupid. Anyway, barring his stupidity aside, we have secret trick. How do you do that? Secret ninja technique. Anyways, let's go ahead and get some... Okay, not so valuable items, but I'm sure there's a valuable one here somewhere. And we are back attacked by an egg. <laughs> Don't even ask me how that's possible. And I'm gonna skip that for right now. And move forward. Because this is Magma WK. And yes, we took the back door of the Tower of Babel. So technically, we're going deeper and deeper instead of up this time. And oh my, those are balloons. We are fought some from our last adventure. But we need a little bit of experience. I'm gonna fight these on this one on camera. Others I will fight off camera. So I can demonstrate steel. Yes, ninjas can steal. And sometimes they can't steal. And sometimes bombs just explode on you. And they do a lot of damage. So who are you gonna call? Miss Dragons! But sometimes you just can't call them fast enough. But it still counts as experience for everybody else. So at least some people get... experience. Moving on! Good thing about life in this game, life spells, life items, 100% chance to hit. In some RPGs, life spells or potions don't work all the time. There are a few exceptions in Final Fantasy. If a life potion or spell is used in a cutscene, it will not work. Because by golly, it just doesn't work that way. I know it technically revives KO, but still, don't call it life potion if it's not a life potion. And before we go down, let's go ahead and get a treasure chest over here. And once again, we're ambushed by balloons, who will surely blow us up in the second round. So we got run round AM scray. This is probably the smartest fleeing I done all day. That church just on the other hand was not very smart. So what we can do is gently crack this egg open. And it will not hatch because guess who has Medusa arrows equipped? Still, experience is experience. I think you get less experience if you don't crack it. So, get cracking. Speaking of cracks, there are cracks in my head. Because I am a lunatic. And some of these I've seen from Eblon Castle. Yes, they were the trap monsters inside of those treasure chests. Now they've become regular monsters. Because they are quote unquote un on level as I am. Even though I am a measly level 26 ish. That's just plain embarrassing. What is also embarrassing is not getting treasure chest. So one moment while I get that treasure chest. 
and kill kitties. Because I got a first strike. And you can bet I'm going to take advantage of that. Especially with insta-kill arrows. Not always insta-kill, but regardless. Who's going to call me out on it, huh? What you'd rather do is steal. But I don't think that's going to happen. Because Radia has a Mist Dragon. And Mist Dragons tend to hurt people. And Leopards. Oh, he was discovered by the enemy! That means he takes a minor amount of damage. By the way, Rose is out of arrows. By the way, I let a second party member die. This is embarrassing. But it's comedic value nonetheless. Because guess who gets a tremendous amount of experience? Kane! And Rosa and Radia. So at least 3 out of 5 isn't bad. So let's move backward. Yes, I said backward. To get a treasure chest. Treasure chests are very important. Especially when they have monsters in them. With a bunch of ogres, oh my. So let's slow down a little bit. Enjoy the sights. Because hopefully this will be worth it. Because my memory is bad. And when you meet a big bully, you call a bigger bully to help you out. Because you're just mad. Titan really should be bigger than that. Obviously, that doesn't work. Because mad ogres are with the earth. And when you're with the Earth, you take tremendous damage if you're in the front row. Cecil, you're not the hit point master anymore. This has gone from hilarious to just plain stupid. It's a good thing I went with the 2-3 formation. Otherwise, we'd have three people who are being shamed right now. So, hopefully this will be enough to do it. No, obviously, ogres are not affected by cold either. I don't know why. I don't know why I cast Blink on him. I have got to stop this immediately. This is getting really, really stupid. It's a good thing I have Kane. Otherwise this fight would be over and I would have my first game over. You wouldn't want to see me have a game over. I throw hissy fits. And it's been a while since I saved. Also, nothing works. <laughs> this is not ending up so good. I'm on a commentary. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> So if the elementals don't work, let's try a mist. Mist is non-elemental. It might be considered holy, but I'm not sure. So let's get a little help here. Oh yes, remember you can equip items during battle. Unfortunately, we have no Medusa arrows, so that's kind of stupid. But 
But at least it shut the ogre up. And ogres are weak against arrows. Who knew? Are they weak against chocobos? Because chocobos are just plain freaking awesome. And anybody who says otherwise will die. Or be silenced. So after this fight, we're going to our next video. Because this is totally off the scale. And for the horrible, embarrassing fight. Which, fortunately, Radia leveled up. I get an Ogre Axe. Cecil could use that. Be right back.